Caddis flies are perhaps the second most important group of trout stream insects. They have a slightly different life cycle. They also live on the river bottom as larvae, but many of them construct cases of sticks or stones, although some are free living and don't build cases. But just before they hatch into winged adults, they go into a pupa stage, which is a life stage that rises to the surface. Once the pupa reaches the surface, it struggles to emerge as a winged adult just under the surface. The flies are helpless here, so trout often key into them because they're an easy meal. Once caddisflies emerged as a winged adult, they most often hop and skitter briefly and then fly away. So although trout eat the adults, they're more likely to eat the emerging pupae. Then caddis enter their deceptive stage. They are a dishonest insect. Once hatched, they can live for up to a month out of the water before returning to the water to lay their eggs. Every day they form big migrations and fly upstream in groups. And although it might look like a hatch because you see so many flies in the air, most of these caddis adults never touch the water, so they're out of reach of the trout. Only when the caddis flies return to the water to mate and lay eggs and die after mating, just like mayflies, are they on the surface and available for a trout meal. These are called spent caddis, and like mayfly spinners, Trout eat them with great abandon when it finally happens. Sometimes persistence pays off. We floated that caddis fly over this fish, I don't know how many times, good floats, didn't eat, didn't eat, but we were stubborn and didn't switch fly patterns and uh, finally ate the caddis. Finally ate it. You know, people, people think that that trout are so selective, but you know, they're pretty opportunistic. And if the fly, the fly is decent and it, they're feeding heavily and it floats over them and it's kind of in the ballpark, usually with good presentation, you can take the fish. Well done. 